From the NBC26 Precision Forecast Center, Chief Meteorologist Cameron Moreland. We saw just about everything this weekend when it comes to the weather. We did. A soaking rain, many spots over an inch, thunderstorms, high winds. We had severe weather. We had warm temperatures, cold temperatures. We even had some snow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Where do we go from here? <laughs> Let's take a look at your seven day temperature trend. Well, Temperature wise, we're going to go back up a little bit here the next couple of days with highs mainly in the lower half of the 40s. But then another big shot of cold air is going to move in this weekend, and that starts early Saturday morning. Right now, we are looking at colder temperatures. Yesterday, we had many spots flirting with 60. Today, temperatures pretty much holding in the 30s all day long. That's where most of us are right now. The exception is Anago, where it is currently 28 degrees. We've got a gusty northwest wind out there at around 15 to 25 miles per hour, 32 degrees in Appleton. It is 33 degrees in Green Bay. Wind still gusting close to 30 miles per hour, and that is producing a wind chill that is making it feel like the upper teens to mid-20s across northeast Wisconsin. So it's still windy out there, but the winds are beginning to diminish compared to what we saw last night and this morning. Here's a look at the peak wind gusts across northeast Wisconsin. Sheboygan comes in with the highest wind gust at 51 miles per hour. In Green Bay, the winds gusted to 48 miles per hour. And in Fond du Lac, we had a peak gust of 46 miles per hour. All of that being produced by a monster storm that is now pulling away from Wisconsin. Behind it, we've got high pressure moving in from the west. Still a lot of clouds hanging out across central and northern Wisconsin, but as high pressure builds in, drier air will start to erode those clouds later on tonight. A big cool down this afternoon compared to what we saw yesterday when temperatures were in the 50s to around 60. Today, only 30s with a gusty north to northwest wind. But on the other side of that ridge of high pressure with a southerly wind flow, it is already starting to warm back up. Temperatures getting back up into the 40s and 50s, and some of that warmth is going to be moving east as we head into tomorrow and for the next couple of days. Warmth compared to today when highs were mainly in the lower to mid 30s. Tomorrow, look for highs that'll range from the mid 30s across the north to the lower 40s across the south. We will see seasonable conditions as we head through Thursday, and then the temperatures are going to start to take a drop once again. It looks like another Arctic blast is going to move in for the weekend. A strong cold front will make its way through northeast Wisconsin Friday night into Saturday morning. Behind that, plunging temperatures ahead of that front. Maybe, maybe the first accumulating snow of the season. I'll fine-tune the forecast as we get a little bit closer. Not much, but maybe enough for some tracking snow. Here's a look at your hunter's forecast for Saturday. Look for on and off flurries or periods of light snow. It's going to be windy. Temperatures will start out in the lower 30s, but once we get into the afternoon, temperatures will fall into the lower and mid-20s. So tonight, clearing skies, lows around 20. Tomorrow, sun mixing with a few high clouds. Light winds early, then turning breezy as we move into the afternoon and early evening. High temperatures will be in the upper 30s to lower 40s for most spots. On Wednesday, cloudy skies with some rain showers developing. Cloudy skies on Thursday, a chance for some light snow, mainly Friday night into Saturday morning as that Arctic air pushes in. A dusting to perhaps a couple of inches, not out of the question. I'll fine tune the forecast as we get closer. And then look at that high on Sunday Ooh. 22 degrees. That's it. That is a cold game day forecast. I know. It's crazy. Thanksgiving next week, December just around the corner. So this is the time of year. This is that time. Yep. Thank you, Cameron. Now let's take a look at what you'll see tonight at 6 o'clock.